Wall Street is heading into a summer from hell and top investors say it's going to bring a near biblical reckoning to the market. Sounds like we might want to say a couple Hail Marys before we get into this one. Welcome to Wall Street's Summer from Hell, dun, dun, dun. a period of extreme volatility and uncertainty that will bring a near biblical reckoning to the markets. The last will become first and the first will become last. After years of inflating, it's becoming clear that the everything bubble has burst. Since the start of 2022, the S&P 500 has fallen by more than 18% and the tech heavy Nasdaq is almost down 30%, a punishing combination of still hot inflation, hiking interest rates, war in Europe, lockdowns in China, unprofitable companies facing reality, recession fears is making it clear that this isn't just a short-term drawdown, drawdown, excuse me. And on top of that, I can't but stop crying in the shower. I do have a couple of facts I want to add on to this. I think that no one really has a clue. That's my take. One seasoned investor told me. Wonder what he's seasoned with. Now, they're trying to say that things are actually catastrophic right now. Do I believe that? Not really. Here's why. In the past year, fewer than 30% of S&P 500 companies have hit a one-year low. Now, compare that to 2018, we had 50%. And compare that to 2008, we have 82%. Right now, we're only 30% of S&P 500 companies have recently hit a one-year low. Only 30% which is telling me, I guess in more of like a chaotic way that we actually have more room to go if we really are gonna get a summer from hell. If the equities market sell 30% from here, I would be buying most likely. Yeah, I mean, that's just dollar cost averaging. I would too, bro. The heat keeps rising. Low interest rates, cheap debt, stable. Yeah, I mean, things are rough. Inflation, we have absurd inflation. Now people are asking on conference calls, which part of your supply chains are in China? Remember talked about some of their economic reports not good with their lockdowns uh from a geopolitical standpoint i think that is really interesting so china inflation the fed war in europe supply chain issues this is the kind of market that turns geniuses into idiots and it turns idiots into bigger idiots which is me and this time around this is one genius i think oh that's kind of mean they did kathy dirty geniuses into idiots the next picture you see is kathy wood of ark invest they're like look at this genius turned into an idiot you have ackman who lost big on netflix kramer who's always been an idiot and apparently you could just get a nice diet coke and calm down on central park the tldr version of this is no duh we're in for a rough time be prepared you as an individual can make money no matter what the market does if it's going up be a bull if it's going down be a bear if it's going sideways sell premium you can make money in any market environment. The name of the game is to properly identify the current environment. This is my personal breakdown. I am not a financial advisor, but with all those things we just listed, I don't see a world in which it goes higher. Maybe when we calm down on interest rates, which could be prompted by the next political cycle with the current political regime, putting pressure on the Fed to lower interest rates, maybe we get a breather there. But until that, until... China fixes their COVID lockdown issue until Europe is no longer in war. We got to take care of these problems for there to be a bit of a breather in the overall market. At least as I'm filming this on Monday, May the 16th, doesn't look like we're taking a breather today. My short-term bias is still bearish. Long-term bias is still bullish. The lower it goes, the better of a buying opportunity. I would vehemently argue it is, but that's where we're at. I am preparing. I am storing cash on the side, waiting to buy this dip. I am waiting, waiting, waiting. And as soon as I think the dip's actually in, which is probably best to scale in, buy a little here, buy a little here, buy a little here. Don't use all of your ammo on like one shot type of a scenario. I'll let you know when that goes on. But right now, it's as simple as this. We are running into too many headwinds.